Magandang buhay! See you once again, learners! This time, we will study how to divide decimals by power of 10. Pero bago natin simulan, gusto ko munang magkwento sa inyo. Yung kwento ko na to nangyari sa loob ng classroom ng grade 6, kung saan meron, pong, meron tatlong pong mag-aaral. Sa tatlong po na yun, pinakamahina si Dune. Lagi siyang lowest. Niminsan yata, hindi pa siya nag-highest. Ngayon, final exam na nila. Kapag ka bumagsak pa siya rito, repeater na siya ulit sa grade 6. Ngayon, nag-test na sila. Kinabukasan, pagpasok ng teacher, proud si teacher, iya-announce na niya ang uh, nakuha ng bawat isa. Ngayon, kinuha ni teacher yung class record. Proud na proud si teacher, sabi niya. Alright class, uh, Dune, in our examination last day, Dune got 99%. Naku, palakpakan lahat ng mga kaklase, tuwan-tuwa. Maski si Dune, tumayo, proud na proud. Nagbaw pa sa mga kaklase niya. Kumakaway pa. Okay, quiet. Sabi ng teacher, listen, hindi pa ako tapos. Dune got 99. But, the rest are perfect. Nako, si Dune, halos mahimatay sa hiya. Kaya ang ginawa na lang niya, naupo at saka dumukdok. Let us okay. now have the division of decimals by powers of 10. But uh, before that, again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below this video. Like, share, and comments. Okay, let us start. But let us first know what are the so-called powers of 10. Explain ko muna sa inyo kung ano yung mga tinatawag na powers of 10 bago tayo pumunta sa division. O example, we have here 10. Of course, 10 is equal to 10. How about 10 times 10? 10 times 10 is equal to 100. O ngayon yung 10, gawin natin tatlo. 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1,000. O, dagdagan pa natin. Gawin pa natin, gawin natin apat. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to, ilang zeros na yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 10,000. Yan, 10,000. Tingnan natin mabuti. Pagkumparahin natin. Dito sa 10 is equal to 10, there is only 1, 0. 10 times 10, there are 2 zeros. 10 times 10 times 10, there are 3 zeros. And 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, there are 4 zeros. At dito sa mahaba na to, this is what we call the expanded form. Yan. Expanded form. At dito sa 10,000, 1,110 are what we call the standard form. Yan. Meron na tayong expanded form. Meron na tayong standard form. There is another one. O, balikan natin itong 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. 100 is equal to, is also equal to 10 raised to the second power. Or this is read as 10 squared. Sa 1,000, this is also equal to 10 cube or 10 raised to the third power. At yung apat na zeros, this is also equal to 10 raised to the fourth power or fourth degree. Lahat ng may mga exponents na yan, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 raised to the fourth power are called the exponential form. Ayan. Exponential form. 
Ngayon, balikan natin itong 10. Bakit wala siyang exponent? Yan. Pag wala kayong nakikitang exponent, understood that the exponent is 1. At hindi siya pwedeng maging 0. Bakit hindi siya pwedeng maging 0? Because it is a fundamental rule that any number raised to 0 power is equal to 1. O kaya hindi pwedeng 0. 10 lang siya. And these are all what we call the powers of Let us have an example. Example number 1. O, kita nyo, ano? Powers of 10 yan. I-divide natin ito, 8.54 na 2 decimal places sa power of 10. O, divide natin, ano? 8.54 divide by 10 is equal to... Yan. Divide by 10 is equal to... Ano gagawin natin? Kapag ka ang divisor natin ay 10, power of 10 yan... Ilan ang zero natin? Isa lang. So, yung decimal point ay imove natin sa kaliwa ng isang beses. Kung ilan yung zero niya, ganun karaming bilang o beses natin gagalawin ang decimal point to the left. O, punta tayo sa left. Isa. Yan. So, ang bago na natin, 8.54... Divide by 10 is now equal to 0.854. Or this is now the answer. Or imove lang yung isa sa kaliwa. Isang decimal place. Or example number 2. 3.48 divide by 100. O ang divisor natin ay 100. How many decimal places ang 100? 100. Ang 100 ay may dalawang zeros kaya magmo-move ang decimal point natin ng 2 decimal places to the left of 3. O palakarin natin ano? Isa dagdagan pa ng isang zero para maging dalawa. O pupunta na siya ron. So So 3.48 divide by 100 is equal to point zero three four eight. Okay? O example number three. Sixty four point forty five divide by one thousand. One thousand has how many zeros? Tatlo. So yung decimal point natin ay pupunta sa kaliwa ng tatlong beses. O ilagay muna natin dito ano? Is equal to O, yung sagot na lang ilagay na natin. Huwag na natin ilagay yung divisor. Kakapusin tayo ng space. O, isa, 64.45 divide by 1,000 is equal to is equal to 1, 2, magdagdag kayo ng isang 0, 0.06445. So, this is equal to, lagay niyo decimal point doon, 0, 6, 4, 4, 5. Alisin na natin ito. Ayan. 64.45 divide by 1,000 is 0, 0.06, 4, 4, Let us proceed with example number 4. Number 4 is 8.98 divide by 0.1. Point 0.1 is 1 tenths. The numerator is 1, the denominator is 10, 1 tenths. 8.98 divided by point 0.1 or 1 tenths. This time in example number 4, the divisor is a decimal. If the divisor is decimal, magmumove ang dividend natin sa kanan. Hindi katulad ng divisors na whole numbers, katulad ng 10, 100, 1,000, ay nagmumove tayo sa kaliwa. This time, magmumove tayo sa kanan. If the divisor is decimals. Katulad ng 4 at 5. O ngayon, 1 tenths. Ilang zero? Di ba isa lang? So, itong dividend natin, 
magmumove siya sa kanan ng isa, papunta sa kanan ng 9, and this will become 89.8. Therefore, 8.98 divided by 0.1 is equal to 89.8. Uh, example number 5. Example number 5 is 76.351 divided by 0.01. 0.01 is 1 hundredths. Yun ang basa natin dyan. 1 hundredths. The numerator is 1. The denominator is 100. 0.01, 100. O oh, ngayon, sa 100, there are two zeros. Ngayon, itong 76.351 natin, magmumove siya sa kanan ng how many decimal places? Of course, dalawa. Because this is 100. O, tingnan natin na Isa, dalawa. O, the decimal point now is between 5 and 1. And the answer now is 7,635.1 oh, Yan ang ating sagot 7,635.1 oh, I hope now that the uh, dividing decimals by the powers of 10 is loud and clear Okay Uh, see you again next time sa panibago nating lesson. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below your video. Makita nyo, red letters. At i-click lamang po iyon. Like, share, and comments. Muli po, isang magandang araw sa ating lahat. Bye-bye!